Hello, welcome to Monday Quilt Chat. Thank you for stopping by here again to chat along with me uh, about things going on in my life, in my quilting life, and just things. It's just kind of like a brain dump on you. Sorry, <laughs> but y'all seem to like it, so I'm, I'm going to continue to do these brain dumps on you. Anyway, um, exciting week ahead here. <laughs> I laugh because I'm just uh, so far behind in where I need to be. Uh, I mentioned to you last week that we were leaving on Wednesday for our trip across the country. And I discovered uh, shortly after that, when Mark was editing the video, that it's Tuesday. <laughs> so Tuesday morning, early, we're going to be actually driving off of here. So I'm filming this right now on Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, and I still have so much to do. I think I have my home, my my house in order, and most of the laundry done and, and ready to go, and you know, all of my mental lists are, are in motion, but uh, the doing part hasn't happened yet. There's just so many things when you go on a trip you cannot do until the very last minute nearly and that drives me crazy but uh, here we are and I'm making a video and <laughs> I have to do this too because this has to be done before I leave um, and I also have to do uh, another a third kaleidoscope video today as well today as in Sunday afternoon so, um, what am I going to talk to you about today? Well, I gave some thought to it, and I'm just going to kind of ramble through some things that I've been thinking about. So, and things that I wanted to chat with you about. I have a new um, monthly quilt block up there that I did a long time ago. Um, it's a heart, um, but <laughs> it looks like I used a very light piece right here. So it, it, from a distance, you can, it looks more like half a heart. So <laughs> anyway, that was uh, back when I was trying to get back into quilting a little bit. And the block turned out fine, but I, I could have chose a little better on that particular spot there. But uh, something different to look at. And you can think about that every time you see me on here. <laughs> My little, I won't call it a mistake. It's just uh, maybe... Uh, a lesson learned. How about that? I wanted to go over to where I'm at, where I am with my goals because, you know, we did all of that planning uh, at the end of December and, you know, I had um, many, many things that I was planning on doing in the first three or three or so months of, of the year of 2023. And I just wanted to review what I did and what I haven't done. And what I haven't done is a little bit longer list than the one that I have. But, you know, that's kind of the way it is with goals. You, you make goals and uh, you want them to be attainable goals. And I think all of my goals were attainable goals. But um, I didn't reach all of them. And if you have a long list of goals, you're not going to reach all of them the first month. So, the Stack and Whack course was on my list, and I did take that course. I think I just, there's just like a little piece at the end that I still need to look at. Uh, I took the course, and as you've seen, I'm making the videos on what I learned from that. And there will be a number two, part two video this Wednesday that will involve the cutting and the one I'll make today for the following Wednesday will be the sewing. So, um, yeah, that's a that's a that was a big one that I'm gonna say I, I'm I got done because before this month's out, uh, you know, I'll have it I'll have it finished. Uh, the quilt coat I have not started on the quilt coat. Uh, and I wanted to get that done before it got to be springtime here in Indiana. So that will be my very first project back 
home from my trip which were coming back early in March somewhere around the 5th through the 10th somewhere in there and as soon as I get back I'm going to pull that out and start doing that the ragged flashback quilt I got that done you saw that out of the Woolies flannel love it that's going in the camper the Nantucket Summer, I'm up to date on those. Now, I will miss a block uh, here in February. It's going to arrive when I'm not here. Nothing I can do about that. So, I'll be doing two of those in March. Uh, getting my room uh, organized and clean here. I did that. Um, I continue on the Harriet's Journey. Now, that's going to be go ongoing all year probably. And... As you saw on Friday, I did do two blocks recently. I won't be able to do more while I'm gone. So maybe I can do two to four blocks in March. We'll see. The scrap challenge, that was the uh, Ribbon Star um, crumb quilting quilt that I did with the nine stars in the dictionary print background. I got that done. I had down comp the quilt and I see that I had it marked for February and then I marked that out and put January and now I'm going to have to mark that out and put March because I don't think I'm going to get to that. Uh, a table runner a month with a charm pack. Um, I'm going to give that about a 50% for, <laughs> for uh, January because I did do the Moda Love charm pack challenge which is a table topper or it could be a wall hanging of course but I'm just gonna count that as one of my charm pack table runners uh, the landscape quilt I don't have that until May the red and white quilt you know that that's gonna take place while I'm on my trip and goal to get to 10,000 subscribers we're we're just trucking right along on that you may have seen on the Facebook group that uh, I'm beyond 7,500 now so that's due to happen sometime this year I, I mean unless everything goes to you know where in a handbasket um, I should be able to <laughs> make 10,000 this year uh, I probably should have that by by the middle of the year maybe who knows we'll see definitely doable but yeah that's where I'm at uh, I'll be setting some more goals through the year too and more surprise projects uh, speaking of surprise projects do y'all watch Darlene Me Show she's been in a really good mood lately and she's starting to get her sojo back you know how that goes all of us have these times where you know it's it's just gone and you just kind of have to scratch your way back. Well, she has started some projects. And one of them that she's doing is a um, two-inch squares, a king size, two-inch square. I think it's a no-repeat uh, quilt. And I've been wanting to do just a plain scrap, you know, patchwork. Thing. and I'm doing I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do two inch squares I have I already had a bunch of two inch squares cut from scraps but what I wanted to do is I wanted to use a, an aqua in between each one and I will have repeats I don't I don't I'm not up for the no repeat thing I kind of want to have a little organization to it a little bit more uh, so I'm doing I'm doing this color. This is a quilting treasures blender at, That I happen to have Two yards of I think It's possible. I might have to get more as because this is going pretty quick, but I'm putting my two inch pieces together and I even have some four patches here Um I was wanting to put together like a 36 patch for you and I, I didn't get to that uh, this week but you know just this is what I'm doing I'm gonna make it like that 
So, uh, the re and the reason why, another reason why, not just because she's doing it, but it did motivate me to look at my scraps and see what I had. Because since I've been doing these, um, you know, when you finish a project and you cut up your scraps into the sizes that you want, I've, I've got a bunch and they're kind of overflowing a little bit. So this is really going to cut a big dent in my scraps again. And I need to do that. So let me show you how many I have done. And you know, you can just stick these in the machine and just... There's, those are my two patches I have done already. And I have, how many four patches? Not too many. Well, quite a few. I got some, one pile here I need to iron. I think it's that pile. So, yeah. I'm just kind of doing that as a filler thing when I get bored with uh, the other stuff I got going on, so. Sometimes the stuff you feel like you have to do, you just need to get away from it, get away from it for a minute and do something else. Or, you know, if you're sewing with a group or you're watching something, listening to something and you don't want to really, you know, be reading instructions and thinking. Um, yeah, you can do something like this. Just, just chain them through there and press a few and then add some more and I just like that kind of thing anyway I wanted to tell you that so that's just kind of an ongoing thing as well we all need some of those mindless projects don't feel like you have to do hard complicated things all the time um, the kaleidoscope quilt like I told you I've been sewing on those that's fun that's really fun and I'm gonna do two quilts out of that pattern um, at least one out of the Bethany Reynolds pattern that I'm doing in the class and then I'm gonna make some kaleidoscope blocks of some kind out of um, one of those other choices that I had um, yeah this this week you'll find out which one I chose but I'm gonna do two I am so in my planner for this week I have not filled out anything. <laughs> it, it's kind of different because I'm going to be on the road. And yes, we'll be stopping for the night. So if I can manage to plan out some time for some sewing, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, here's the block of the week in my planner. It's called Melancholy Thistle. That's quite ambitious, isn't it? Robin Gregg of Lone Jack, Missouri. Missouri, that's our first camping stop. Missouri, I think it's Springfield? I'm not sure. The Art Deco Challenge, I'm gonna read this. The Art Deco Challenge, sponsored by the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show, sparked Robin's interest in designing this quilt. She used both hand and machine piecing and included some paper piecing to achieve her goal. The most fun was choosing and placing the colors in this all batik quilt. Robin did her own machine quilting. Melancholy Thistle won a blue ribbon in the competition and it will be part of a traveling, traveling? traveling exhibit for the next two years yeah that does look very art deco doesn't it here's the up close piece that they're showing she did it all she did some heavy duty satin stitch around her applique pieces and her quilting is very intricate as well around all the design there Never ceases to amaze me what people come up with. So yeah, I gotta fill this out today too. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta do so many things. I got in the mail yesterday, I think it was yesterday or Friday. Yeah, the newest American Patchwork and Quilting. This is the April 2023 edition. And I wanted to share one quilt with you in here. Do you all know Kim Deal? 
Uh, she usually has quilts and quilt patterns that are very much geared toward um, Civil War, I'll say, um, you know, the browns and the forest greens and the deep burgundies and, and all of that. Um, not my favorite, although some of those prints uh, that are considered Civil War, I think they're, they're gorgeous and would use them. But I'm not in for dark drab that the Civil War is, you know. I like the lighter and brighter versions of it, if you can say such a thing. But she has a pattern in here. It's called Cut Flowers. Let's see if I can show you. I thought this was very pretty and that, that it could be used with uh, other collections as well. You could brighten that up quite a bit. I even like this because look, it has aqua and some rust oranges, some yellowy mustardy. And then that light background and the also the pattern itself is kind of bright and cheery I think here's the layout I would do that one I like it I do. There wasn't much else in here that struck me as awesome. Of course, there's always beautiful things in here, but you know, you just can't make all of this stuff in an, in one lifetime. That's the sad thing about it, isn't it? We <laughs> we need more time. We need more years of life to do all the things that we want to do. So I am going to forego the um, designer spotlight this week, and I'll get back to that when I can. Um, I think we're still with Andover, and I need to pick a second one from them. So uh, look for that in a future Monday quilt chat. Uh, but uh, today, with uh, things the way they are around my household, I think I need to make this video short and sweet. And I wish you all a wonderful week of sewing and quilting and have fun and don't get stressed out and I'm gonna try to do the same so be thinking of me as I'm traveling and hope for the best uh, it's it's quite an endeavor for us to travel uh, all the way across the United States practically <laughs> we're in Indiana and we're going to Nevada so it's not a complete trip across the United States but practically it's going to take three or four days to get there so wish us well all right have a great week sew a little every day it's good for you